We've had a break in the action in the Atlantic Basin. It has been quiet, quiet, quiet. But I think we're going to go from tranquil to chaotic in the next 10 day, 10 days to 14 days. Let me show you what we're watching here this morning. This tropical wave coming off Africa. We've been talking about that all week. Now, I do believe that this has a chance to develop here. Let me show you some of the modeling that we're looking at here. You see, when we're looking at the upper air charts here, this is on Sunday. So the tropical wave that's here by Sunday is right around in here. You see the yellow and orange shading here? That's the tropical wave that we're watching. Now, there's all kind of modelings. In fact, there's more models in the field of meteorology than there are models walking on the runway in Paris. And they are helpful in determining a forecast. Now, this is the American model, and you can see the or yellow and orange shading here. This is a tropical wave. It is interesting to note that the most accurate model, the European, doesn't have anything. Look at the difference. American, European, American, European, nothing. Now, which is right. Well, what I like to do is look at the wind shear in this area, and where you see the dark yellows and reds, that's where you have wind shear. This tropical wave is going to be moving in this area where you see a lot of blue. That tells me there's lower wind shear. So I do think that this has an opportunity to develop. So I'm leaning more toward the American model here. However, I'm not worried about this wave. You know why? Because in time, let's look at the American model as it continues to move to the east as we get into Tuesday. You see this? You see this dip in the jet stream in here? This is going to force this system north into the Atlantic, which means this will have no impact on the United States. We've also been talking about the one area that we've been concerned about the entire time is this, the Caribbean. That's the area to monitor as we head toward the latter half of this month. And I think there's two opportunities. I think two opportunities for the possibility of development here. Let me change my modeling here and let me show you what I'm looking at. Let's take a look at where we are as we head toward this weekend here. You see this dip in the jet stream right here across the southeast in here? What's going to happen is as we move forward, this is Sunday evening. Let's go to Wednesday evening. That upper low is still here. You see the dip in the jet stream? Watch what happens as we head toward the end of the week. You're starting to get this. This dip in the jet stream into the Gulf. The concern is, is that you can get an area of low pressure to the form here. So that's an area to watch as we head into next weekend. And finally, there's going to be another tropical wave we're going to keep an eye on here. This is going to be exiting the, uh, the uh, coast, uh, the uh, west coast of Africa on Tuesday. Let me show it to you right here. Uh, right here. Okay, here it comes. This is the system right here. See this? Now, let me play it forward here as we move forward. Let me go full uh, full screen so you can see it a little better. So here's the system on Tuesday. You see the yellow, orange, and red? Follow its progression. Wednesday, Thursday, here it is in the Central Atlantic. And then as we get into the end of the week, it starts approaching the islands right in here. This is Friday. Now, this seems correct to me that the upper high would steer this system toward the islands as we get in the last uh, next weekend. If this gets into the uh, into the Caribbean, we have a problem, and I think there's a possibility that it can certainly do that. Why are we worried about that? Because take a look at the water temperatures in the Caribbean and the uh, 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 Gulf. Uh, and the Gulf. They are running well above the historical average here. This is a lot of warm water. If this system finds its way into the Caribbean and into the Gulf, we're going to have a huge problem here. So again, I want to sum it up here. This is what we're looking at here moving forward, all right? What are we looking at? We're looking at two possibilities for development here. One in the Gulf as we get in the wind. Next weekend, this will be homegrown development, right? And then tracking that tropical wave. Again, it exits uh, the west coast of Africa Tuesday. If that enters the Caribbean, and we will be talking about next weekend into the following week, we could have some real problems. From tranquil to chaotic in a snap of a finger.